I'm Chris. I'm Rostam. This is uh, your Vampire Weekend forecast. Apparently it's very hot in some parts of the world. I think uh, other parts of the world it might be colder. <laughs> I'm not sure where. Uh, there'd be some rain. Maybe a front is gonna come in. A front? An Ezra front? An Ezra front? Is that possible? What you guys say about me? Hey, what's oh, up, man? Hey, what's up, everybody? Oh, <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, look at that. See that? So what's going on, fellas? We talking man about the, the weather or what? We talking about the weather? We're talking about the weather. Man. Weather, weather, weather. <laughs> Yeah, I remember the 80s. Wait, did Pretty Woman come out in the 80s? Well, we're definitely, even if we were born in the 80s, I think we're definitely children of the 90s. My earliest memory is from... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> right, let, me, let me try that again, let me try that again. I can't do it. What's your earliest memory? It was a really stupid joke that probably only had but let me try it. When you're born in the 80s, you don't really remember what was going on in the 80s. <laughs> I can't do it. Right, going... What's the punchline at least now? I'm really the punchline was my earliest memories from 1997. <laughs> that was the punchline. Okay. See, this is not gonna translate. This is not gonna translate. <laughs> Cut this. I'm uh, Chris Bale. I play bass in Vampire Weekend. Right. And if I had to uh, pick who the biggest troublemaker is in the band, it would definitely be Chris Thompson. He's in the bathroom right now, so he can't speak for himself. He's probably gonna come back with some spitballs from the bathroom. That guy loves to play pranks. He makes a lot of jokes. Hola, Siena en Español. Is Carolina Escobar broadcast out of Atlanta? Do we have to have our name tags on the whole time? Can we dance? Feel free to make yourselves at home. Uh, this is our main set that goes out on CNN International. Cool. Can we do the interview here? Yeah. What's that? We're interviewing you. Where? Right here. In the really? situation room. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Brian Cross. What is your position? I'm the tour manager for Vampire Weekend. How is that? Outstanding. I'm out of questions. Got a real dead weather front coming in the Midwest. It's raining cats and dogs. <laughs> <laughs> now look at where you guys are. Now look at the monitor. Whoa. Where are we? Okay, so we played here a lot. <laughs> a lot of time spent there. We played in Spain, in Madrid, in Barcelona. We played in Portugal. Favorite place in the world? Right here, right now. America, baby. Latin America. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think there's, there's a lot going on on the album, so inspiration came from a lot of different places. You know, we went to Mexico in the middle of, of making the album, and we recorded the song Cousins in Mexico, and we definitely listened to a lot of music in Mexico. Yeah, who's going first? This I've got to see. I'll go first. I'll co-host first. Three, two, one. You're at the international desk where we bring you the world up to the minute. Jamaican music was Jamaican big music. for us, I think, on this record, and... Brazilian music, you can hear that, specifically on Horchata. Hopefully, people can hear a little bit. Punk music is, I think, always gonna be a part of our band. It's 11 at night in Kyrgyzstan. The capital is engulfed in political unrest and the country is under a state of emergency. We'll take you there live. Agence France press reporter Matt Siegel is on the ground in Bishkek. Nicely done. All right. Okay. Now, as an anchor, just you wouldn't want to do this. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, what, what, what's like? Yeah, my body language. What should yeah, it be? Give him the critique. Yeah, yeah. What should I love it be? It. You wouldn't want to kind of go like that, and you just kind of Slamming want to be relaxed. Table? You just want to be relaxed. relaxed. Okay. We recorded at the studio of uh, one of the guys from Molotov, so we got to know, meet a couple of the guys. They're very cool. Last night at this uh, kind of bad Mexican restaurant, they played some good music, and there's a song by this woman, uh, Julieta Venegas, who's also from Mexico, that I like. She can play accordion. She's cool. We met her when we were in Mexico. Okay, I don't know whether anyone else wants to play on prompter, but this is what we do all day long, so if you'd like to. We have some... Um, 
some fast facts on the US airbase in Kyrgyzstan if you want to read with those or whatever. But Any sports? We, well, we're doing Champions League. Do you follow football? Yeah, a tiny no. bit. <laughs> Not really. But yeah, I like a lot of Dominican music. Bachata, Munchie and Alexandra. I would say Os Mutantes and um, Gilles Gilberto and Gal Costa, like that whole kind of movement. I think all of us actually had different phases, you know? Chris you know? put uh, No Strings Attached by NSYNC the, the, the week, the it, week came it came out. out. And it was the biggest selling record in the first week, and I, I'm proud to say I was part of that week. Are you following the World Cup? Are you excited about World Cup? Somewhat. How do you think the US is going to do? How do I think the US is going to do? Uh -huh, well, Cup. that's an interesting question, because the US actually does not have a soccer team. It's not a very popular sport in America, so we don't take part in that. But people do watch it. Okay, well, you will have a team at the World Cup this year, and that Landon Donovan incorrect. will be that, there. That is incorrect. <laughs> and yeah, you, you definitely will, I promise you. But nonetheless, uh, anything do you want, there you go, you can pick up with sport there. To football. <laughs> where four teams hope to punch their tickets today, the Champions League semi-finals. Kate Giles is covering Manchester United's match with Bayern Munich for us. That's uh, Germany versus the UK. It is the European, it's a European football championship involving the best teams in Europe. So Wayne Rooney is missing for this game. Wayne Rooney is a big player for Manchester United. So he broke his foot, is that true? Wayne Rooney, I think, has knee trouble. Okay. And David Beckham. Probably shouldn't be a soccer player <laughs> if he has knee trouble. Well, you know, it, they say it's the perils of the game. Yeah, it's a dangerous game. <laughs> um, so what part of Atlanta are you from? <laughs> That's what I've been wondering. I'm from a part far away called London, four years ago. London, it? England. London, England. So okay. football is very much my thing. What's Carolina Escobar like in person? Carolina Escobar. Carolina Escobar. How, how you look in person? Come here. Uh, I didn't say how you uh, look. I said what she like in person. She likes like that. Are you going uh, to meet her? Hey, I'm Rustam. I'm Chris Bale. I'm Ezra. And I'm Chris Thompson. And we're <laughs> Vampire, Vampire Weekend. <laughs> and don't go away because we're coming back on Boombox All Access. Ah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? I'm Rastan. I'm Chris Bale. I'm Chris Thompson. I'm Ezra. And, and we're, we're Vampire, Vampire Weekend. Weekend. Back with Boombox All Access. What do you forecast for Vampire Weekend? We're gonna go to Africa. <laughs> I don't know. We want to go to Africa eventually. I don't know, maybe play in Egypt? Forecast is very hot. Very, very hot. We all went to college together at uh, Columbia University in New York. Not Universidad de Colombia. <laughs> but what's up to the people who go there? Um, and uh, yeah, we were all friends. And then uh, we started the band. Now we're going to have some uh, Wait, can fun. we all get behind gonna that? We're going to have some fun magic time. Here we are in the world now. Hold on, watch this. Me and Chris Thompson, the guy in the bathroom, we, uh, we had a couple of classes together. And then uh, Ezra was someone that I met uh, through a friend. We met Chris through a mutual friend when uh, a couple of us were in the play Romeo and Juliet. By uh, 2006, we got together and we started playing shows. And by 2007, we had finished recording uh, 10 songs ourselves. And, uh, you know, the rest is history. Carolina Escobar like in person? Carolina Escobar. Carolina Escobar. How, how you look in person? Come here. Uh, I didn't say how you look. I said what she like in person. She likes like that. Gonna, yeah. 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 That's Hello. Hi, Ezra. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Carolina. Hey, Rastan. Nice to Hi. meet you. Chris. Hi, Chris. Really how nice you? to meet you. I'm great. We're learning all about CNN on Espanol today. Good. What have you learned so far? 
They are not interested in my show. They are no, interested no. in your show. L we've Why learned little, little to nothing. <laughs> so, uh, Familia. your show is called La Familia? No, no that's her mine. show is In Familia. In Familia. In Familia. I know I've had some tapes and stuff, but the first CD I got was the Batman Forever soundtrack. I had Flaming Lips, U2 was the single. There's a Method Man song called Offspring. The Riddler. Was it, you might probably some Offspring on there. Smash oh, it up, I think it was called. Seal. Oh, and Seal. Although I wasn't that into that song. What? Oh, they're looking Oof. I'm, I'd prefer Crazy by okay. Seal. Okay. Can you stay up? Okay, what do you know about Buenos Aires? Well, Chrissy's in the bathroom has been there. We've never toured.